What's up guys, we're back with another Mythic Legions Aerithere Wave review, taking a look at the Red Shield Soldier. So we've got another Legion Builder style figure here, uh, kind of just not a, not a normal named character, but a grunt that you can army build uh, if you so choose. We've of course got him here in our standard Mythic Legions packaging. So you've got the figure there in the window. We do have a bio card on the side panel for this guy. And then the back of the box features that new style artwork that shows Aerithir in all of his glory. You've got that larger write-up and then cross-sell for all of the figures that come in this particular wave. So yeah, let's do it. Let's pull him out and take a look. And here we go, out of the package, our Red Shield Soldier. So this guy is very specifically an army builder, a legion builder, when it comes to this wave, because he is just a generic knight. He is uh, capable of having multiple looks. We've got different heads, different helmets, things of that nature to sort of build out your ranks. But this is how he comes uh, out of the box, and I can't help but just love everything about this helmet. So uh, we're going to go through all the normal stuff, take a look at articulation. He's a 1.0 style figure, and then we'll get to some of the new stuff he brings to the table. So as far as moving his head around, in this particular configuration, he is kind of limited. That said, historically speaking, because this is a real style of helmet, this is normal. These things barely moved on knights that actually used them. They were mostly used for jousting tournaments. So this is pretty true to life. I mean, ideally, you can't move much anyway. So he gets a little bobble up and down, you get slight tilt, and then you get rotation. Uh, he really sort of gets tight when you start to twist and hit the shoulder pads, but it's, you know, it's not too big a deal. He gets enough range without you having to sort of twist things over top. You get arms that go out at the side, of course. They rotate. We've got our single jointed rotating elbow. You've got forearm swivel. We've got hinges and rotation at the wrist as well. Being a 1.0 style figure, of course, you get the singular sort of buck torso piece. So he goes back and forth only slightly, not a whole lot. He goes forward better than he goes backward a little bit, but he goes forward decently enough. You get some tilt side to side. He's got a big sort of high-waisted belt, similar to how Magnus's belt is. It's not the same belt, but sort of similar idea here. And then you've got rotation at the waist, You've also got your legs that go out pretty much all the way. They kick forward all the way. They also go backwards, probably more than you need. You've got your twist up at the thigh. We've got single jointed rotating legs, or knees rather. These of course have these sort of uh, flared edges on them, so they only go so far before you start to hit the actual knee. So watch out you don't take it too far. And then down at the ankles you've got rotation, you've got rocker, and you've got hinges with our sort of standard knight's style of boots. So this guy moves exactly how you would expect. I mean, even with the new head, it's it's kind of obvious that it's going to be limited just because of what it is. It's a giant bucket that sits over top of this figure. It moves a little bit, but not too much. Otherwise, it's very standard stuff for the line. Aesthetically, being a legion builder, an army builder, this guy isn't as flashy as most of the other figures in this wave. He is he is definitely the most plain, but that's that's normal. Uh, so he is going to be someone that's going to be in the background. You're going to maybe have a handful of them. I, unfortunately, after having this one, only have one. Uh, I will try to pick up more, I'm sure, at least one or two more, because I really do like this figure, and it, it's mostly the helmet that really does it for me. But the combination of parts here from uh, this particular torso that we're working with now, and then all of these sort of standard knight parts that he has on him, it just works, especially if you're going to go down the route of maybe having this guy actually being a mounted knight or if you're going to set up any kind of jousting setup because I mean literally that's what this kind of kind of figure is representing at least in its default configuration uh, even down to this new piece around the neck that sits around it it pegs into the back and it sort sort of mimics the helmet sort of being latched onto the uh, to the torso piece because it was all sort of locked down historically speaking with this type of helmet so that it doesn't go flying off and that's the whole point of having the uh, the slit up top so your eyes can really only see a little bit out but it protects your face from being you know jabbed with a spear so or a lance rather so I do like how you know they actually pulled from 
true history to design this guy out. He is done up in just your standard sort of pewter gunmetal kind of color. You do have a little bit of hits of brown here and there for the uh, for like the straps, and then a belt that actually cinches around the girdle that he's got. And then of course you've got tons of little slightly silver rivets all over the figure just to make things pop a little bit. So he's not devoid of paint. He just doesn't have a lot of intricate detail like you would expect to find on your normal named figures that aren't Legion Builders. And then of course, you know, to kind of round him out, you do have, again, for the 15th time, this crazy frog mouth helmet, which I really like. Not because I have some sort of attachment to this design or, or anything, but it's because it is so different. And I just think it looks cool. It's got a good design here on the top. There's a bunch of uh, uh, lines that are sort of sculpted in. You've got tons of rivets around here as well. You've got more straps on the back as well uh, with some buckles. You've got even little accents of gold on this helmet also. So it's just a cool, different style of helmet. It's going to stand out on the shelf, and it makes him much more unique than just being a standard knight. So if you throw one of the regular knight's helmets on this guy, he sort of fades into the background. But with this helmet on it, I think it elevates it into something a little bit more exciting, at least as far as getting something that does have a lot of new parts. Uh, this being a very cool and interesting addition to the line. Now, as far as accessories goes, being a Legion Builder, this guy comes with a decent array of options. Of course, we do get pauldrons, but we get extra heads, and that's right, heads, not just an extra head, you do get two. So to start, we've got pauldrons on them. These are pretty basic, but I really like the design here. They very much flow with the armor. Uh, they're kind of small by comparison to a lot of other pauldrons that we see, but I think they work really well on this particular body with this particular configuration of parts. You get a standard knight's bucket as well, uh, which has the sort of red shield color. So of course we got the big red cross. You've got the gold spike coming out of the top. And then we also get uh, this knight helmet as well with more red accents. So you've got the red sort of comb on the top and then the flourish on the back. And both of these work really well. They are definitely not my favorite. The favorite is the frog mouth helmet. But if you want to army build this particular guy, you have three different options uh, when it comes to head sculpts. So I do really like the fact that, of course, you know, we're getting more stuff in this particular box. We do get the always present back adapters. So throw those in your pile. We get a red shield, of course, makes sense. So red and gold, just circles on that. You've got the handle on the back and some gold rivets for accents, but I like the black trim around it. Uh, it works really well just to sort of tie it all together. We get a strap, of course. We get a halberd. So we get this big guy. And I think this works really well, especially if you want to use this guy as like a guard of some kind. So you get red and gold accents there as I drop it all over the place. But what I really like about this is you can take the end off. And like I said, the frog mouth helmet is meant to be specifically uh, well, historically speaking, again, for jousting tournaments. This could be your lance, because it's got a spike on the end. So if you wanted to take that off, uh, it could be your, your lance if you want to throw him on uh, one of the horses. So I do like that, uh, just as a little thing. I don't know if that's intended or not, but of course, you can do it. And then we get uh, this big sword, which we've seen this before. Somebody comes with it. Gwendolyn, I think, comes with this. I, I can't remember at this point, but it's uh, gold and red, of course, to match their color scheme with a silver blade. And I just like the, the overall sculpt of this. You've got those sort of catches in there to catch an, an incoming sword, which I do really like. So he does have a handful of weapons. You've got a shield, you've got two extra head sculpts, and then you've got all the normal strap and back adapters. Uh, so quite a bit of stuff in this package and enough ways to really kit him out to make him a little bit more unique if you want to. So yeah, this is a really solid figure. I'm, I'm usually not over the moon with Legion Builders because that's not what I normally do with these, even though that is a big thing with Mythic Legions. I don't typically army build much of anything in this line, but this guy makes me want to go back and get one or two more because, I mean, frankly, it always comes down to this helmet. I really like this new helmet that they've included. Uh, I think it's going to be cool for folks that want to set some sort of a mounted knight jousting type of scene. You've got the right helmet for that uh, in a very specific type of setting. But I like the, the new parts we've got here. I like the colors. I mean, just a, a simple pewter and silver works really well for a basic knight. Knight, and he comes with a solid array of accessories. You get three head sculpts in this, so if you're into kit bashing and mixing and matching parts, you have a lot of fodder here as well. So that's going to do it for this look at the Mythic Legion's Aerithyr Wave Red Shield Soldier. Let me know what you guys think. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and until next time.